You must have some kind of vision for your life. Even if you don't know the plan, you have to have a direction in which you choose to go. You want to be in the driver's seat of your own life because if you're not, life will drive you. I think you know what you're supposed to do. A lot of people just don't go after it. Most people start out, they say, I want to be a this, but I'm going to get that to make sure I have something to fall back on. What you're doing is you're setting yourself up for failure because you're going, there's a possibility that I'm going to fall back. And when you put that out there, then you fall back. If you just say, hey, this is what I want to do, and you go do it, you usually get your stuff the way you want it, man. Being realistic is the most commonly traveled road to mediocrity. Why would you be realistic? What's the point of being realistic? I'm going to do it. It's done. It's already done. The second I decide it's done, it's already done. It's how we just got to wait for y'all to see. You really do have to take time out for yourself and put yourself first, you know, because you can't, like, give to somebody and your well is dry. You got to carve out some time for you. You have to take care of yourself in order to have the alignment and the power to take care of others at the capacity that we do because it fills the well. What I believe that I do takes so much energy that I have to be responsible enough to take care of me. Be yourself. Be yourself at all times because when you're, when you're truly yourself, Whatever you get out of life, you will appreciate it more. And um, when, when, you, when you're truly being yourself, you'll never practice victimology. And the reason you'll never practice victimology is because you know that whatever you got, you got because you were yourself. Forget all of trying to compete or, or trying to outdo yourself. You should be doing it just because you love it. Control is a concept. I've just lacked control, and I think I've craved it. I couldn't really arrive at it. And now I'm not really looking to arrive at it. I'm just happy to be present. And there's no such thing as control anyway. It's just a concept. It's a word. But if you focus on controlling like the way you feel in the now and what you do with the now, I feel like it leads to having true control in the future. No one should be contingent on someone else. You got to get out here and make life happen for you. It's like, yo, you got to pull up your bootstraps and do what it is for you. I think with any with any level of success, you're gonna you're gonna get negativity. Uh, the thing is, is how do you handle it? You can feed negativity with negative responses, or you can feed negativity with success. You always have to have a boundary. You always have a boundary of what you will or will not do. If you don't have any boundaries, then you're gonna be a puppet. And at the same time, you have to live with yourself. At the end of the day. If you don't fight af go after with such tenacity your goals in life, what are you what are you leaving a significant other to admire about you? It all starts with you. You know, you're the temple and you have control. You're in a bad situation. It's up to you to get out of it. You can't give another human your the responsibility of your happiness. Once you're coming up with ways that you can't do something, you're not gonna do it. So I think that stop finding the ways that you can't do something and find the ways, all the ways that you can and just go for it. There's no amount of money that will ever make you stop if money is what you care about. You'll keep going. Oh, I got a million. Got to get 10. Got 10. Got to get 100. If it's cars, you'll never have enough cars. If it's women, you'll never have enough. You'll be chasing them forever. If it's success, you can never get enough of that. I realize that it's like it doesn't stop. It keeps calling you. It's like a drug. I tell everybody out there, if they're doing things, if they're creating things, sometimes you have to wait for your moment. It's like real estate. It can hold its value, but finish it. Don't set up there and have it be half done and, because its time will come. No matter how much you feel like you're prepared for something, it, it never happens on your time. Like when you think you're ready, like it's supposed to happen. It always happens when it's supposed to happen because the period that you feel ready and People are not acknowledging the material the way you feel like they should because it's good. It's the time that you actually develop skin thick enough to survive when it does work. 
I know a lot of people have been feeling discouraged. You feel like, yo, I've been trying and trying and ain't nothing happening or it's just not happening fast enough. So you end up giving up because you just like, yo, I don't feel like doing that. Ain't nothing happening no way. But I want y'all to know, don't give up because a lot of times your blessing will be right around the corner or it's within arm reach. Always make friends and communicate. Just don't isolate yourself because in any other business, you need good people in your life. And um, business is always going to go up and down. You know, that's always fickle. But, you know, your life is, is constant. My hope for the future is that my people, African-Americans, will get a chance to build some economic wealth, to make some positive changes in our community so we can stop asking people for things. And that my people just get a peace of mind, man, just get a day to breathe. And I have to think about getting shot or killed, being oppressed. That's all. Just want a little bit of peace and love. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. It's about uplifting our responsibility to our communities our responsibility to our race, our responsibility to do that because we have the opportunity 